how are you? Welcome to Ikate's Crossing. Okay, some really good books that I've read over time. Um, this is only a very small sample of books, so to speak. Um, there are a lot, lot more, of course. But this is some of the ones that I can definitely recommend. Now, let's begin with this one here that I've, you've seen it on my channel already. There'll be some videos, daily meditations for women who love too much. Where this is just a book that you can either look at starting at the beginning of the year and working your way one day at a time. Or you can just randomly choose a page. So let's look at today's date. So this is um, June the 29th, right? So let's have a look at this. I'm going to release this. I think this is going to be a video that you guys are going to sort of get into. So June the 29th is the first phase of recovery from loving too much begins when we realize what we are doing and wish we could stop. The first phase of recovery from loving too much begins when we realize what we are doing and wish we could stop. So that's today's one there. Okay. And then tomorrow, as we stop loving too much, we no longer base what we say and do on how we think the other person will react. As we stop loving too much, we no longer base what we say and do on how we think the other person will react. Okay, a fantastic book. Totally recommend it for, um, for a great sort of daily meditation. Just something to reflect on. Um, there are videos of that already on my channel. Okay, this other one here is really, really good. Um, he is just not into you. Now, I've read this on my channel. You'll see videos with it. I've recommended it. Read little bits and pieces. Let me just grab another bit here. Okay. Okay, let's look at the glossary. Seemingly innocent words and phrases that can also be used for evil. A friend. What it should mean. I would never do anything to intentionally hurt you. What it sometimes means. I'm just not that into you. Okay. Busy. I was just in a grade. So what it should mean is. I was just in a graded president of the United States today. And what it sometimes means is. I'm just not into you. Bad boy. A guy you should stay away from. A guy you should stay away from. I'm not ready. I can't find my pants. I'm just not that into you. Call me. I just dropped my cell phone in the ocean and I lost your number. I'm just not that into you. Not into family? I don't want to date your mum. I'm just not that into you. <laughs> fear of intimacy. A fear of being intimate. I'm just not into you. Okay. So. So here's some things here. For your standards. This is really good. Okay. Let's have a look. Reset your standards. Sure, you can say, but I have standards. Well, your standards led you to this book, so let's raise them. Let's set a dignified bar for you to exist at. Let's put you in charge with how it's going to go next time. But you what? But you ask, what if there isn't going to be a next time? And we say, stow that bad news cargo on the shore to sink ship, because that ship is about to hit Sad Island, and we don't want you on it. A standard is setting a level for yourself of what you will or won't tolerate. You get to decide how it's going to be for you. You can now design the person you want to be in the future and the standards you want to have. Write your new standards down so you'll never ever forget them, no matter how cute he is or how long it's been since you've had sex. Okay, we admit it. Some of our workbook things were a little silly, but this one we mean. Make sure you know what you stand for and what you believe in. And because we obviously think we know better than you, we've got a book deal, didn't we? That's what Greg says. We're going to give you some standard suggestions. Okay, so here's some standard suggestions. I will not go out with a man who hasn't asked me out first. I will not go out with a man who keeps me waiting by the phone. I will not date a man who isn't sure he wants to date me. I will not date a man who makes me feel sexually undesirable. 
I will not date a man who drinks or does drugs to an extent that makes me uncomfortable. I will not be with a man who's afraid to talk about our future. I will not, under any circumstances, spend my precious time with a man who has already rejected me. I will not date a man who's already married. I will not be with a man who is clearly a good, kind, loving person. Okay, so now it's your turn to write your own standards. Write them down, don't forget them. My super helpful standards that I'll never ever forget or forsake, no matter how hot I think he is. Okay. So let's look at some some of the things you should look should, you should have you should have learnt when you read this book. Life is hard enough as it is without choosing someone difficult to share it with. You deserve to be with someone who's nice to you all the time. And you have to be nice to them too. There's never a reason to shout at someone unless they are, are in intimate danger. Freaks should remain at the circus, not in your apartment. You already have one a-hole. You don't need another. Make a space in your life for the glorious things you deserve. Have faith, whatever what other choice is there. If you're in a relationship that you suspect is not good for you, but you're not sure, do the simple exercise. Take out a tape recorder, tell the story of your relationship into it, play it out loud. Imagine that your best friend in the whole world is telling you the story instead of you. Would you want better for her? It is impossible for you to think you deserve better. Try at least believe one of your friends who thinks you deserve better. Just long enough to get you out of the relationship. Okay. So what do you think? One of the other super really helpful workbook. Okay, list all the things you want or have never wanted in a man. Okay, he's married. Unless he's all yours, he's still hers. There are cool, loving, single men in the world. Find one of them to go out with. If a guy is yelling about his ex-wife or crying over his last girlfriend, try to find someone else to take you to the movies. He's married. Don't be that girl. You're not easily forgotten. Let him find you when he's ready. Okay? So this is a really good book for you to explore. Okay, now you really want to get down to the nitty-gritty. Two books I recommend... Journey of the Heart, a powerful new approach to intimate relationships as a path of personal and spiritual discovery whose challenges call forth our deepest strength and resources. Now you may find this also I've reviewed on the channel, so I definitely recommend um, diving into, into this book. It's got parts of chapter let's have a lead. i'll read you the chapters the um contents of it the nature of path intimate relationships as a practice in a path conflict is opportunity becoming fully human con conditioned patterns heart and karma worry of the heart is awareness clearly seeing what is courage connecting with it, with what is gentleness making friends with what is and taking steps forward joining heaven and earth heavenly inspiration earthly groundness and limitations including both sides of our nature joining heaven and earth awakens our heart then we've got conditional and unconditional love with a whole lot of bits and pieces in there dancing on the razor's edge then part two is personal path falling in love passion of path breaking the heart open conscious commitment obstacles on the path developing larger vision sacred path natural sacredness in search of the genuine powerful male and female Taming the Monsters, The Awakening Power of Sex, Marriage is Mandela, and Conscious Love. So, a fantastic book. Okay, the last one I want to share with you is Stephanie Dowrick's The Universal Heart. Okay, so let's have a look here. Here we're looking at love generously, know what's going on, live encouragingly, trust others, listen carefully, value truth as your ally, light up your shadow, Transform aggression, relate as an adult, 
every day a new beginning so if you want me to share any more of these books with you please leave a comment down below don't forget to um, click that thumb like so like the video ring that bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded take care and blessed be